Hello everyone, welcome to Laravel. My name is William. In this video, I would like us to talk about how to customize our icons in Filament PHP. I would like to begin by um, mentioning just what I have done. I have created a dashboard here with the user's uh, resource. And this user's icon is the one that I would like us to change in different uh, ways. So there are normal ways in which we can be able to do it. We usually have these icons from uh, Blade Kit UI. So I would like to just visit uh, that um, icon, I, I mean, icon uh, component library. And so these ones are usually installed by default in a filament application. So we have the bled icons. And here, the icons that are usually there installed by default are icons that we call hero icons. As you can see, we have a little bit many more of the icons that you can be able to talk about. So the ones that are available by default are hero icons. So any icon among these ones, I can be able to actually just use directly. So for example, to replace the user icon uh, in our dashboard, I can be able to just check what this one is and just copy it and then go to our user resource. So you go to app filament um, user resource here. Yeah? And in this file, we have a place where we have the navigation icon and it is hero icon rectangular stack. And that is what was displayed initially. So I you replace this and save. And now if I am to refresh my application, now you can see the icon has changed and we are using this icon. So now there are other icons that are available in our bled um, icons. And as you can see, as I mentioned, there are many. So for example, if we move and go to icons called health icons, these ones, if you attempt to use directly, so for example, I will just pick any because this is for demonstration purposes. So I would like to pick maybe this one here. If you copy this and paste it in a similar fashion to what we have done with our previous icon, so let me just paste it and then we see what happens. If we are to save, if I go ahead and attempt to refresh, now you can see it says the SVG by the name health icons, whatever is not found. So you cannot be able to use it without installing the specific uh, package for the health icon. So if I am to go ahead and install that package, once our package is installed, if I go back and um, to our application and attempt to do a refresh, and now clearly we are able to include our icon in uh, our filament PHP uh, dashboard. So basically, for any other icon that is not among the hero icons, you must ensure that you install the specific uh, package that um, will enable you to load the specific icons. And you can see there are many here which you can also be able to use. Supposing you want to use an SVG that is custom that you have created yourself, how can we proceed and do that? If we want to use our custom SVG, then whatever it is that we are going to do, we will ensure that we have set up our filament application, or in this case, our Laravel application to be able to use it. And so the first thing we do is to publish the blade icon config file. So we will run the command PHP Addison vendor publish hyphen hyphen tag equals to blade hyphen icons. Now we hit enter. And this you create for us a configuration file in um, the root directory that is config and then we have blade icons. Now I would like us to uncomment some of the things inside whatever it is that we have the sets inside this sets array. 
And uh, what I am going to do is to and comment some of the things. So, for example, where we have default, I will uncomment this, and then I will uncomment the path. Um, then uh, the prefix that one I think I need, and then uh, we can also uncomment what even fallback you can uncomment that one. But uh, for now, let us just uncomment uh, this one and the last one that. No, this this we will not uncomment this one. Let it just be commented because it is the closing of the attributes. So we have it like this and save. So now what we can do if we have our own SVG, we can be able to go ahead to resources, resources, um, and then we can be able to have our icon. So inside the resources folder, I can create a new folder inside there, which I'm going to call SVG, like that. And inside this SVG, I can be able to paste any um, SVG icon that I have. And to give an example, there's none that I've created myself. If I could have done that, I'd be able to use it. But you can go to any icon uh, platform, for example, Font Awesome or even Bootstrap icons. So let me just go to Bootstrap icons and we open that SVG library and you can scroll and see that you have very many icons here. So I just pick anything because this is demonstration purpose. I'm not looking specifically for an icon that you'll be able to show users nicely. So I'm just picking whatever it is that comes. So I will copy. As you can see, we have the icon font, the way you can be able to present it if you have installed Bootstrap icons. But since we are not there, we just want to use it within our filament application. We just copy the SVG itself. So I will copy this. And then what we are going to do is to inside our SVG file, we can create a new fold, a new file inside our SVG folder. And this one, I think it's called bricks. Uh, you say bricks.svg uh, like that. And then paste in our SVG like that. So now if we are to go back to our configuration file, we can be able to reference this um icon by uh starting with the word icons because as you can see here we have um we have the prefix as icon so icon bricks like that so i can go to our um, the place still where we were setting the icon that is in app filament uh user resource and here now instead of using health icons and whatever it is that we are getting by default from the installations i can be able to just say icon uh, hyphen bricks like that and now since we are beginning with icon then what it's going to do it's going to check for this for the icon named bricks inside resources svg if it finds it it will be able to display it so i if i have been able to set everything correctly i can be able to go ahead and refresh and now you see we are having the bricks as our users icon so basically you are not limited to whatever kind of icons you can be able to use you can customize your filament application to use whatever it is that you think is good fit for the display of the icons and whatever it is that you are actually creating in your application. Filament usually also has its own default icons for specific actions, for example, filtering, a delete icon, and so on and so forth. Even those can be customized, but that we will do in a different video coming up soon. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please consider giving us a subscription. Thank you very much for following this video tutorial up until this point.